Hey everyone, thought I'd do a video and today I'm going to be doing my August TBR. Alright, so in my July TBR, I actually showed you guys this, which is my summer TBR jar. I decided to do this because I felt like I had a lot of books that I really wanted to read and I didn't know which ones to read. So what I did was I put them all in here and I picked out half of them in July so that I could read them and then I put the rest of the half I left it for August so I'm going to be picking out those now and also I have some other slips here that didn't really get read yet so I'm going to tell you guys which ones those are and I'm going to try reread those as well along with the ones inside this little jar here so I'm going to start with the slips that I didn't read last month and um I, I'm not too alarmed about this because I did read some books from the month of when I the ones that I should have read in August like I already had like a whole bunch of books in this TBR jar here and some of the ones in here I actually read in the month of July because I couldn't wait so I read two books from that jar and I have three here so two of these really are going to be replacing the two that I read already, sort of, I guess. So anyways, let's just get right into it. So the first slip that I did not read yet is 1984. So I meant to read 1984 during the Booktubeathon. I was trying to read it and I got 30 pages in and it was going so slow. It took me like two days to get through those 30 pages and it was going so slow. So I picked up another book because this one didn't seem fast paced enough. So I did that so that I wouldn't be like super slow, a, slu a super slow reader basically. So I have this book and I'm hoping to read it in the month of August. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to because this is really slow and I feel like I need to have a fast paced book and I don't know if I'm gonna like zoom through this or not or if it's just the beginning that's making me go a little bit slower than usual. So I'm not sure about that but I'm hoping I can read this. So the next slip that I didn't read yet is Insurgent by Veronica Roth. So actually I put that slip in so that I could read both books so that I could finish the series. I did read Insurgent, which I'm really happy about, but I did not read Allegiant, and I'm so ready to read it right now, and I'm so excited. So excited because this is the last book, guys. Need to find out what happens in this book. And the final slip that I did not read last month is Fifty Shades Freed by E.L. James. Now this series has been a really good series. It's taking me so long to read this series because I don't want it to end because it's such a good series. I started reading this book already, read a little bit of the first few pages, and it's getting really good and I want to find out what happens. I want to finish this series but I don't at the same time. Alright so the last few slips are in this jar so let me just pick them out one at a time for you guys to see. So the first slip that I picked out is The Lightning Thief. It's by Rick Riordan. So I put that slip in so that I could read the whole series. And actually the first two books in this series I have already read because I could not wait. There are the two books that I read last month that I should have read this month. But I could not wait for it. So I read the first two books. And I'm super excited because it's getting so good and there's three more books to go and I'm super excited about it so I want to finish the last three books hopefully this month because they're really fast paced so I feel like I have the ability to do it. So let's pick out another one. Alright, so the next slip that I picked out is called Beautiful Darkness. It's by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. So Beautiful Darkness, this series has been ongoing for a while now. I read the first book before the movie came out and then it's been taking me forever to try to get into Beautiful Darkness and I don't like that. I really need to get more into the series because there's three more books left and this one's like giving me so much trouble and I need to read it because I feel so bad because I've been trying to read this and I want to finish it. I want to finish it so badly and 
I'm just such a slow reader when it comes to this series. I don't know what it is, but I need to finish it. So there's two more slips in here. Let's get going. So the next slip that I picked out is Grave Mercy. It's by Robin Lefevers. I could be pronouncing that wrong. I'm not sure but I feel like I'm pronouncing it wrong. This book, I've heard so much about this book and I was so excited because I found it on bargain price for like five bucks and it's been going around booktube for a while now and when I first heard about it, I was like, I gotta try this series out. It's historical fiction and I've been really wanting to get more into historical fiction because I feel like I don't have enough of it and I usually always end up loving historical fiction. So I gotta get into this because it sounds so good. So many people have been raving about this series and I want some of that. So there's one last slip in here, so let's just pull that out. <clears throat> And the last slip that I have is The Maze Runner, and this is by James Dashner. So this series looks like such a good series. I have the whole series actually in paperback, and I'm so excited because it looks really good, and the movie is coming out in September, I believe, which is like next month, so I really need to get on this. I need to at least finish the first book. I'm hoping that I can finish the whole series this month, but if not, I want to at least read the first book so that I can watch the movie because it looks so good and it sounds so good and so many people have been saying so many good things about this series and I feel like I'm like one of the only people that have not read this series yet and I don't like that feeling so I gotta get on this bandwagon. Alright, so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I can actually read all these books because I'm sort of limit a little intimidated by it because some of these books are pretty chunky. I've been able to get up to about eight or nine books this these past two months in summer and I think I might be able to do it but the books that I read in June and July are pretty fast paced and are pretty like small in comparison to some of these books which is a little bit intimidating I'm not gonna lie and I don't know, I, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to finish all these books because a lot of these books I've been waiting to read for the longest time and now I'm into them and I want to finish them and I just want to like do it right now and I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to do this. There's like nine books on my TBR for this month and some of them are pretty chunky so I got to get on that like right now. So yeah, I got to do that. And I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one, so bye.